Hey everybody and welcome back to uh, UE5 BP Gurus Tutorials. Uh, today we're looking away from Unreal Engine to a uh, side application that you can download completely for free. I'll put the link in the description. Um, what it does is this allows you to create uh, skyboxes for any form of space game. I, I've seen a few tutorials but not many that kind of show you the process start to finish. They kind of mainly use um, the, some of the prefixes and then they kind of just edit them to their own needs. Uh, it's a simple thing which you can do so it's not like it's a bad thing it's just um, but I thought for the tutorials it doesn't actually show you the full extent of the process. Um, so I'm going to be doing that, I'm going to start a new project and we're going to try and recreate this purple nebula uh, ourselves. So um, without further ado, let's uh, switch to a blank project. Okay, so we have our blank project here. Um, you'll be able to look around this in a minute, but at the minute it's just a complete and utter black void. So at the bottom left, if you click new layer, uh, it will create a uh, spacecape. It will just call, be called layer zero. We're going to start by creating a, we're going to call it like, uh, pink purple nebula and we want this to be uh, a layer type noise we're not going to mess with any of the first few bits but we are going to change the color first off and we're going to change it to possibly like a kind of sort of pinkish color bright pink color like that. Then we want to change. Um, we we'll want to change the octaves to about eight, like that. We want to give it an outer color that's possibly slightly darker. Maybe let's go for a purple. Whoa. <laughs> um, and then I think we're gonna probably look at leaving the rest of that alone for a second. Okay. And then we're gonna add a new layer. We'll call this um, Black Ridged Nebula. And this is also going to be noise. We're going to change this to we want it to be an alpha. So 1 minus SRC alpha. I'm going to mess around with this and see what this does. Apparently nothing. Okay. What about the gain? If I change that upper point, what does that do? Nothing. Okay. We want the upper color to be black anyway. This maybe might weigh where it has an effect. I don't know. Uh, it's a lot darker now. It's a bit more of a purple kind of color. Okay. You can dig that. Um, I want the noise type to be ridged. Oh, that's, there we go. We're kind of breaking into this space color now. Cool. And what if I put the octaves also up to eight? Whoa, that's okay. We're getting some more intricate gassy patterns now. That's kind of cool. Okay. Um, the other one's going to stay black power. I'm going to knock down the power a little bit. Yeah, that's semi better, I guess. Uh, and then we're going to go to a 0 0.4 maybe yeah there we go bring out those purple colors wow that looks very bright vibrant now okay now i want to do a second one is i want to bring in a little bit more black now so let's um do another noise uh we're going to call this black smooth nebula and of course, this is going to be, uh, the color's also going to be black, like so. Uh, we also want this to be um, another alpha again. Um, I'm not going to put as many octaves in this one, I don't think, this time. And we want a threshold of... Okay, cool. Brilliant. So you're getting like all these kind of differences coming through now while also sort of maintaining that gassy effect. So I really like that. That's really cool. Okay. Um, let's add in a few stars now. 
So add a new layer and this time we're going to change it now. It's going to stay as points this time. We're going to make some large purple stars. Oh, like so. Um, I'm going to change, I want to change the amount of points we've got definitely to about 20,000. Wow, that's a lot more. Uh, I'm going to leave the far color as black, but I'm going to change the near color. So as they get closer to us, they're kind of like a purplish color. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I think I'm going to leave some of this. I might change this, the points actually. So they're a little bit bigger. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. So you can actually see them. That's really cool. Um, uh, I also want to offset that with some small ones. So you kind of get slight differences in that. So let's create another one. It's going to pretty much be the same, but this one's going to be, uh, small purple stars the reason i'm naming these by the way is just so i can keep track of everything um as we do it i'm going to pretty much leave all of this uh the same i'm going to up the amount of points we have though to about five. Oh, is that 50 or five no it was five thousand um now you've got kind of like a little bit of offset with the big and the little Uh, next I want to add in some uh, kind of I'm going to change up the color I think a bit maybe add a bit of blue in there uh, we're already getting a, a, a similar pattern to what we we've just seen already which is kind of cool small uh, we'll call this uh, small blue we're gonna go for some billboard stars now they're a lot bigger uh, you'll see the difference in a minute there we go whoa uh, I'm gonna change things up with a random C there you go seven why not um, and then I want to I want to leave the color the far color is white uh, I'm gonna make the near color darker though uh, I'm gonna make it something like that no no let's make it like that yes yeah, it's, it's not quite um, it's not quite as um, in your face then. Uh, I am going to up this by a little bit. See what that does. Not a lot apparently. Okay, but we're going to make these ridged. So they're a little bit sharper. And we're going to up the octaves as well. Um, let's give it a random seed down there too. Hmm. Let's up the threshold a bit. And I'm going to change the billboard size because I don't want them as in your face. They us a little bit better. Um, and let's do the far billboard to 0.02. Wow. Okay. That looks a little bit better. Not as in your face now. So you've got these kind of real big little uh, stars, real, little big stars, <laughs> these little, these bigger stars now coming through. And that really does make such a difference. Wow. Okay. Um, and I want to up the amount. I'm going to double the amount. So we've got a few extras in there. Okay. The next thing I'm going to add in is now some larger ones. Uh, add a new layer in. Go down to here. Oh, open it up first. And we'll call this a uh, large blue billboard stars. Um, and this time, we're, the only thing we're going to change in terms of color is this one. We're going to give it a more... I'm going to give it... Um, I'm going to give it something like this. Um, I like I like that one. That one's kind of cool. Uh, it's going to go back to billboards this time. Um, I'm going to give it another random seed because that was kind of cool. There you go. Five. Why not? Um, I'm going to up the gain to 0 0.6 again. And I'm going to also make this the same as the other one. I'm going to give it again seven on the octaves. Uh, we're also going to make this one ridged as well. I am going to change that to a 2. And I'm going to make this to a 9.10. As you can kind of see, it's starting to slowly look um, better as we kind of amend things. Wow. There you go. We've got our slightly bigger ones. Uh... Oh, I thought I changed the near color. I, I, no, I did. 
Oops, I've messed that, haven't I? I thought I'd changed the near colour. I, I clearly didn't accept that. There we go. So you've got this little few blue hints coming through now on the further away ones. Uh, and we're going to... I'm going to reduce the number of big ones. I don't want as many coming through, I don't think. Cool. So that's large billboards. Um, we're also now going to blend in a blue nebula on top of this purple one, I think, just to um, give it uh, something a little bit, just something a little bit different, I think. Give it a little bit of contrast. So, of course, um, this needs to be noise, like so. Uh, I'll give it a random seed because we didn't give one to the first one, really. Uh, 0 0.6, I'm going to change the inner color to a nice, I'm going to give it a, a slightly darker blue than the, the stars, uh, and then I'm going to keep that as as black. I'm going to give it a 7 on the octaves. I'm also going to make this rigid as well. Um, I am going to now just change the threshold to 0 0.8. What a difference. Oh my god. Wow. You can just see all of these cool... You can see the purple still behind and the blue is just sitting on it lovely. That's really, really nice already. Uh, what can we do now? I think we should add... Um, let's get some more color in there. Let's do... A couple of green. Let's do the same thing we did with the blue, the billboards, but do some green ones instead. Um, so change that to billboard straight away, and call this. Uh, we'll do large green billboard stars. Uh, no, actually, I actually don't want to do billboard. I'm going to keep it large green um, and blue. We'll, we'll, we'll chuck some gluey, uh, bluey green point stars actually in there. I think. Large green, blue point stars. Let's change it to, to points. Let's see how this looks once we've done this. Um, okay, so I'm going to give it... I'll keep changing it. I think you, if you keep, give them the same, they overlap. So you want to keep them as different as you can. And I'm thinking... Let's find like a bluey, greeny color. like Something like that, maybe. Um, and then we'll change the luminosity to the same as the other one. 2.2.2. 2.25 we'll make them rigid so they uh, they look a lot better we'll give them a 7 I like the octave 7 clearly because I do it a lot we'll do a random 2 and we'll make that threshold 0 0.80 0. Uh, and then I'm going to give it a 30,000 point there. wow that's really filled up the stars now isn't it um, we'll make the point stars 2 so they look a lot bigger. Whoa, they come through a lot better, don't they? Wow. Okay. That's that's looking good. I'll leave that as is for a second. Let's. I might come back and change a few things, but uh, let's do small green, blue point stars this time. Um, we're going to give it a random seed of one again because I kind of want a little bit of overlap, I think. With this, um, I'm going to do, oh, oh, no, I want to keep that true. I'm trying to do the color. Uh, let's do, I'm going to do black for some of this, I think. And then I'm going to add in the near color as sort of like a, hmm, should I do a light green or should I do like a minty kind of light blue color? Something like that, maybe. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. Uh, then I'm going to change the luminosity to 2.50 again. Uh, we'll leave the max gain as it was. And we want to make it rigid. Uh, octaves, I'm going to go for my favorite number, number 7. We'll leave all the noise scale and stuff like that as the same. And then we'll do random seed as 2. And... For the points, I'm going to do 30,000 again, I think. There we go. And we'll leave that as one because these are the smaller stars. Now we've got a load of stars coming through, all different colors. 
uh, mixing in with our blue. You can still see the purple just about, but it's definitely um, a lot less now. You can, it's not as like sort of in your face as much, I guess. Um, to finish off, I'm gonna do, let's add in, um, let's add in a yellow inner nebula. This is obviously going to be noise again. Uh, it's going to be a random seed that's two. We're going to put the gain to 1.6. We're going to pick a nice vibrant yellow, I think. There you go. Whoa, <laughs> that's a bit much. Let's up the uh, lacrinarity whatever it's called, the ridged. Octaves is gonna be our lucky number seven. We're gonna leave all that, but we're gonna drop the power down to 0 0.3 on this one. And we'll drop the threshold up to 0 0.9. Whoa, and I got rid of a lot of it, but it just adds in a little bit of cool. As you can see, that little bit of yellow is left and it just brings that nebula that's running through space um, alive a bit by just giving it that second little bit of color. Um, it's just really, really cool. And we're gonna do preview texture on that. Uh, okay, cool. I think that's good enough. But as you can see, just, just by adding in layer after layer. Now, obviously I've done this in order for this reason. So we started with that pink purple nebula because that's the very back of the scene and we've brought everything forward. So you, but you can move that up and down and it will take over compared to everything else if you want that. Uh, so you can push stars back behind nebulas and things like that if that's what you want to do. But we've got this cool looking scene um, that we can use down the line. Um, I've already got one ready to go for the project, the Haven project, our tutorial series. But um, I just wanted to show off uh, Spacecape, because uh, I think it's a brilliant app if you're thinking of ever doing anything to do with space. I think it is really, really handy to have um, if you ever need it. But thank you so much, guys, for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you've enjoyed this, hit like and um, subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye.